Hey everyone, today I would like to discuss with you the underhood inspection of vehicles. The underhood area of a vehicle contains many varied and complex systems. This video discusses some simple checks that you will undertake while performing an underhood check, especially if you are a beginner or owner of the vehicle. The major areas to check under the hood are engine lubrication and many other things under the hood. But this time, I would like to focus on the check, checking the engine oil. One of the most important systems requiring regular maintenance is the engine lubricating systems. So this video discusses the concepts of friction and viscosity of the oil and demonstrates the simple procedures to use when servicing this lubricating system. The fundamentals of the lubrication system should include the friction and the function of oil, the oil viscosity, the oil additives, or the oil indicators. Friction resists the movement of one surface over another. Friction may be desirable, but many times it is not. Rough surface requires features that lock together cause friction. These features can be microscopically small, which is why even surfaces that seem to be smooth can experience friction. Friction can be reduced, but never eliminated. Friction is always measured for two surfaces using what is called the coefficient of friction. A low coefficient of friction for two surfaces means they can move easily over each other. A high coefficient of friction for two surfaces means they cannot move easily over each other. So the main function of oil are to lubricate, to cool down or cool engine parts, to clean, seal the piston rings and cushion the force of the power stroke on the engine bearings. When it comes to checking the engine oil, it will be necessary to check and adjust engine oil level and check oil condition. So the safety recommendations to use when checking oil level, if the engine has been running, be careful not to burn yourself on the exhaust manifold or any other hot part of the engine when reaching for the dipstick. Remember, the dipstick and the oil on it will also be hot. So do not allow oil from the dipstick to drip onto the engine components. Dripping oil from the dipstick will smoke or burn if it falls on any hot engine areas. So make sure that the hood is properly secured. Always make sure that you wear the appropriate personal protection equipment before starting your job. Always make sure that your work area environment is as safe as you can make it. Do not use damaged, broken, or worn out workshop equipment. And always follow manufacturer's personal safety instructions to prevent damage to the vehicle you are working on. Make sure that you understand and observe all regulations and personal safety procedures when carrying out this task. The points to note when checking oil level are make, it, make sure the vehicle is on a level surface and the engine is turned off for at least three minutes before taking a reading. If you don't, you'll get inaccurate readings. The oil will collect in the sump when the engine is off. Typically, the amount of oil needed to raise the oil level from the low mark on the dipstick to the high mark is about a quart. This varies, so always check the shop manual to determine the correct quantity. Never fill the engine with oil about the full indicator of the dipstick. This could cause oil erosion and severe engine damage. Although fresh oil is translucent, an oil that needs to be replaced looks black and dirty, 
it is often difficult to assess the condition of engine oil simply by its color. Oil loses its clean, fresh look very quickly and yet may still be serviceable. The best guide to changing oil is determining the vehicle's mileage and period of time since the last oil change, like every 5,000 kilometers or every 10,000 kilometers. If the oil on the dipstick is not blackish in color, but looks milky gray, this could indicate there is some water or coolant being mixed into the oil. There may be a serious problem somewhere in the engine, such as leaking head gasket, and you should report this to your supervisor for immediately for further uh, assessment and work. Engine operating conditions can also influence the oil's condition. For instance, continuously stopping and starting the engine with very small operating cycles can cause condensation inside the engine. An extreme case of this will cause very rapid oil deterioration and will require frequent oil changes. And don't forget to replace the filler cap after topping up the oil. The general procedure to follow when checking oil level is locating the dipstick. The dipstick is located on the side of the engine block and is usually very easy to find with a distinctively shaped or brightly colored handle. Many dipsticks will have yellow writing or have an oil can icon. Remove the dipstick and wipe clean. Remove the dipstick catching any drops of oil on a rug and wipe it clean. There are markings on the lower end of the stick to indicate whether the oil label needs to be topped. Take the oil label reading and replace the dipstick and push it back down into the sump as far as it will go. Remove it again and the level of oil in the oil pan will be clearly visible on the stick. If the level is below the fall or topmost mark, then you should top up the engine to that level with fresh oil. Check the condition of oil. If the oil appears very black and dirty, it may have lost some of its protective and lubricating qualities and may need to be completely changed. Check the service record or ask the customer when the oil was last changed or the owner of the vehicles. Adjust level if necessary. If additional oil is needed, estimate the amount by checking the service manual guide to the dipstick markings and screw the filler cap at the top of the engine and using a funnel to avoid the spillage. Gently pour the oil into the engine. You have to check the, the types of oil that you're going to be pouring on your engine. There are types like conventional oil, synthetic blend, high mileage and full synthetic. If you, if you want a uh, less costly oil, then you should uh, settle with the conventional oil. But if you want uh, a more expensive oil, and then you have to go for the full synthetic. If you are uh, changing the conventional oil that will, that will take about 5,000 kilometers, kilometers reading on the uh, odometer uh, for the uh, change the interval of your oil. And if you go for full synthetic, uh, recommended is 10,000 kilometers or even 15,000 kilometers for the full synthetic. And you get a good mileage of your uh, vehicle. You also have to check the oil viscosity of your oil or your oil. For example, 10W50 oil is like uh, W stands for winter. Uh, the number before the W is the oil viscosity at low temperature of the engine oil. And the number after the W uh, viscosity, oil viscosity at normal temperature when the engine is running. So if you are uh, 
you are operating your vehicle in the cold area or in the winter uh, season uh, and you are located in the North America or in somewhere in Europe and uh, during the winter season, which is December, January, those months, then you have to look at the uh, type of engine oil that you're going to use for that uh, type of climate season.